guys what's going on this is wes here again all right um so this is video four of uh rpi fts setup uh, what are we gonna do now uh well first we're gonna recap real quick on what have we done uh previously in the past three videos all right so we have done initial configurations on the raspberry pi to be able to run the uh, Raspberry Pi in a fully headless kind of setup. Um, we've configured our VNC, we've configured, uh, we have enabled SSH, we have configured our zero tier connection to our zero tier network. We have, uh, we have installed uh, FreeTAC server, we have enabled free tax server to start on boot now we're gonna go with our last step which will be to establish our mumble server um, so there's two ways of doing this uh, you can you can go on the command line and you can uh, download mumble server through the command line however uh, with the raspberry pi um, there is an easier way which is going to be by going through preferences add remove software and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna search mumble and whenever you search for mumble you will see that there is two packages in there one of them is the client and one of them is the server there we go so we're going to go ahead and uh, get both of these. So you have the client and then you have the server. So now we're going to go ahead and apply these changes. Then we'll go ahead and uh, authenticate here. And we just gave it a second for it to finish downloading. Any time now. Well, that is done, my friends. All right, so now we are ready to go ahead and shut this window down. Now we're going to open the terminal. And here in the terminal, we are going to type sudo dpackage re up. Oh. Reconfigure Mumble Server. Boom. Here we go. All right. So, do we want to auto start Mumble Server on boot? Uh, yes, sir. We will do that. All right, uh, just one second, guys. Uh, again, we're experiencing, yep, a little bit of that lag. Um, here we will set up our um, our super user password. So let me just go ahead and do something here. I go ahead and put in the password, and boom, that is a. Uh, that piece is done. So now we're going to go ahead and do uh, this piece right here. Is uh, this is uh, more or less uh, something um, you know? It's it's optional if you want to go ahead and do this. Uh, it's, uh, it's you know it's just some options, but uh, you'll be able to. Uh, You'll be able to change your uh, your welcome text. Uh, you'll be able to update your server password once again, uh, and you'll be able to uh, 
on comment. Oh, wait. All right, yep, pretty much you'll be able to change your server name. Uh, just things that, you know, you could do if you wanted to, and we can do those right here with sudo. Nano. We'll do it. Mumble server I and I and then boom here we are so first thing that we're gonna look is we're gonna find uh, the line that starts with welcome test I mean welcome text and we'll go ahead and uh, look for that piece See where are you? Welcome message right here. All right. So right here on this line, guys, this is where you're gonna uh, update your uh, welcome message on your server. Uh, right now, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. Uh, now, down here, you are going to, uh, if you want, you can assign a password for members to join, uh, to for members to be able to join your server. Uh, that way, it's not just wide open, and you can just configure the uh, the. Uh, you know, they can just configure the server and start listening to whatever it is that's going through your server uh, as far as voice. So you can configure the password here uh, for all your users to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to uh, provide that password upon login uh, in order to, you know, keep things a little secure, if you will. And then there is a last line here. right here so uncomment this line uh, or actually no you just uh, yep pretty much uh, you uncomment this line and you go ahead and change your name here and now you can uh, you can identify your server with whatever name uh, you add over here uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're not going to do none of those things. Just uh, you know, during this demonstration, just wanted to show you that those are things that you can do there. Um, but pretty much, this is uh, this is about done. So we're going to go ahead and exit this with Control X, and then we are going to restart the server. So sudo. And we'll do it in it dot D mumble server and restart. Boom, that is restarted. All right, so now at this time. Your server, your Mumble server is um, configured, and how do we how do we check that? All right, so we're gonna check check that right here. I check in on internet. You're gonna find your Mumble client, and you're gonna yeah 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 all that good jazz, and then we're just uh, we're just gonna leave these settings as is for now. Uh, we're just not gonna do a whole lot here. Uh, let me see something. Yep, yep, yep. No. All right. Nope. So we're just gonna go ahead and signal to noise ratio. So if you want to configure your audio, uh, come over here and uh, 
you do this piece you do signal to noise ratio and whenever you connect a microphone as you start speaking over the microphone you'll start seeing the line do all sorts of crazy stuff right here it'll it'll show you the decibel levels and all that stuff that it can read so you can properly tune uh, your thresholds over here uh, that will trigger the uh, the Vox uh, over here on the mobile client so we'll just go ahead and keep going through these just get everything set up uh, sure yeah just go ahead and finish this yep 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 all right and then yep we'll just for this test we'll allow a uh, automatic certificate creation and then we're gonna finish that piece now we are here so there's the Raspberry Pi this is our server it's already in the land because like I mentioned before I am connected to I am connected to the same uh, access point as the Raspberry Pi so you'll see down here uh, you'll see the IP address for uh, zero tier you'll see the 10.147.18.206 and you'll see the port that is assigned and all that stuff uh, so yeah that is that is up and running so we're just gonna go ahead and connect to it and we're gonna connect and we're gonna assign ourselves a test client and we hit OK and sure 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 we are going to say yes and then we'll do again OK Oh, interesting. All right, then let's go ahead and test underscore client. There we go. Boom. All right, so we are connected to the server. That's it. This device right here, this is you. Um, let me go ahead and just for the sake of this test, I will go ahead and use another device that I have here on my hand and I will connect to that server let me go ahead and uh, configure this real quick and you'll see another you'll see another client pop up in here once I'm done with this configuration here uh, we will add a server here yeah test server and that's 10.0.0.162 and then we'll go ahead and add and that server is online yes well, we'll allow that boom there it is there's my second client so now they can test 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 see so they are talking in the same server server is configured that is it uh, your server is configured and it will start on boot um, the only thing that you'll have to do here is open the client, uh, which will not start on boot. So you'll have to, you know, open the client every time you reboot the server, uh, which is something to keep in mind if you do decide to, you know, set this up and run a run a uh, radio crosslink uh, network through your Mumble server. Um, this piece right here is not necessary. Uh, you don't have to set up voice if you don't want voice to go through, uh, you know, through the internet. But it's it's proven to be a really valuable tool, uh, especially when when you are far out of reach of, you know, the capabilities of your typical VHF and UHF radio comms. So, yeah, this is really nice. Uh, I strongly recommend you try it out. You'd be amazed how cool it how cool it is and how good it works. All right, so that is that. That is closed. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. So this is it, man. This has this is the last video for this uh, series of uh, uh, RPI FTS setup steps. Uh, please uh, write down in the comments below if something's not working or anything along those lines. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. But as you saw, uh, the things that I was doing here uh, were definitely working out and everything was 
uh, installed properly. Everything is working uh, the way it should. So, yeah, uh, hit me up in the comments below. And uh, most definitely, please subscribe. And uh, I'll continue to post more uh, ATAC, ta free tax server slash whatever kind of tax related videos as I can. Uh, please keep in mind, this is not my... Uh, this is not my livelihood here, so I try to I try to um, upload videos as I can. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks guys. Peace.